Hi guys, uh, let's see a video on whiplash examination and brachial plexus examination because in the whiplash examination we are supposed to examine the neck and also the upper limbs and in brachial plexus we can again uh, do the sensory and motor examination of the upper limb. So let's have a look and we'll do all these uh, steps in one of the video. Okay, so now we'll be examining your neck and your upper arms. For the purpose of examination I can see you are adequately exposed. Thank you for that. I have a chaperon to ensure your privacy. May I proceed? Alright, so now I would like to have a look at your neck. So I just want you to look straight and for the purpose of examination, I'll be going to your sides and your back. Is that alright? Yes, sir. Thank you. So there's no redness, there is no swelling, no sign of any injury, no scar mark of any previous surgery, no deformity. Alright. Alright, so now uh, we'll be checking uh, the palpation. We'll be doing the palpation and uh, we'll see if the patient has got any tenderness or not. So John, now I'll be touching your neck and you have to say yes whenever you feel pain. Alright? Okay. So first we'll check the spinal tenderness and then paraspinal tenderness. So let's see, this is how we check the spinal one. Okay, now we'll be doing paraspinal tenderness. You can go zigzag but one at a time, make sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, may I proceed? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. May I proceed please? Yes. Thank you. Alright, so as you have seen, like our patient showed tenderness in the right paraspinal area. So this is how we do the palpation or how we check the tenderness in the neck. Alright, so now we'll be examining the upper limb. So we'll be checking the sensory and the motor part of the upper limb examination. Okay, let's start with the uh, fine touch and pain touch. Okay, so John, so now what I want to do is uh, this is a cotton verse and I want to touch different parts of your arm with the help of this cotton verse. I want you to say yes whenever you feel this uh, touch. Okay, you need to close your eyes as well and then let me show you how it feels like. Can I touch your breastbone? Sure. So it's going to feel like this. Alright, so could you please put your both the arms uh, on your thigh, palm facing upwards. Perfect. And close your eyes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Now we're doing it in the uh, other arm. Yes, 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 yes. All right, you can open your eyes. So this is how we check the fine touch. Now for the pain touch, we have got this uh, neuropin and we'll be repeating the same thing again. So, John, this is a neuro pain. I'll be touching again different parts of your arm with the help of this pain. Don't worry, it won't be painful. And you have to close your eyes and you have to say yes whenever you feel it. And let me show you how it feels like. Can you touch your breastbone? So it feels like this. Okay. okay. So, could you please put your arms like this, palm facing upward, and please close your eyes. Okay. Yes. 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 Perfect. Now we're doing it in other arm. Yes. 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 All right. You can open your eyes. Perfect. So now uh, we'll be checking uh, for the tone, power, and reflex. Let's do the motor examination. All right. So first of all, we can start with the bulk. Could you please uh, put your both arms like this, again palm facing upwards. So we'll be commenting on if the patient has got any problem with the upper limbs, like if there is any redness, if there is any swelling, any deformity, and if there is any muscle wasting, and how is the bulk of the muscle. Bulk appears to be normal, and uh, there is no deformity, no scar mark of any previous surgery. After that, we'll be checking for the tone. So for the tone, John, what I want you to do is just go floppy, relax. Okay. Yeah? And just let me shake your hand. All right, just relax. All right, so this is how we check the tone. Let's see another arm. All right, perfect. So after tone, let's do power. So what we do in power, uh, John, I want you to do like this. All right. And I'll be putting some force. Don't let me push it down. All right. So this is my force. Okay. Perfect. Let's see another one. Perfect. Okay. All right. 
Now would you please do like this? Okay. So is this my force? Once more. All the way. Again. This okay. Is. Yep. Okay. Could you please do like this? Extend your arm and cock up your wrist and resist my force again. Okay. Yes. Make it like this. And again, resist my force. All right. Pretty please open your fingers and don't let me squeeze. Okay, relax. So this is how we check for the power. All right, so let's do the reflexes now. So for the reflex, uh, we have to use the hammer. Uh, John, this is hammer. I'll be tapping on different parts of your arm with the help of this hammer. Don't worry, it won't be painful. And I just want you to relax and go floppy. All right, so if you can just uh, put your arms on your thigh and relax. Okay, just relax. Perfect. Just relax. Perfect. Now let's do the other arm. And let me tell you which reflexes we are checking. So this is the first one. We are checking the biceps. So we put our arm, our thumb on the tendon of biceps. And the patient is relaxed. And see the movement of the biceps. Perfect. Let's check for the triceps now. So we are hitting directly on the triceps tendon. Perfect. Now let's check the brachioradialis. So just put your three fingers here and hit on your fingers and see the moment. This is how we check the brachioradialis. All right. Okay, so after uh, we have done with our neural examination, uh, we have to do the neck movements. But make sure before we uh, proceed with the neck movements, we have to stabilize the neck of the patient and uh, we have to have a cervical x-ray. And uh, once you have confirmed that x-ray is normal, cervical x-ray is normal, we go for the neck movements. So uh, let me show you the movements, which movements we have to tell the patient to do. Okay, John, uh, I want you to uh, bend your neck. Could you please touch your chin with your chest? All right. Could you please look up at the ceiling? Perfect. You can relax. Could you please uh, look at your right side? Okay. To your left side? Okay. Look straight. And could you please uh, try to touch your right ear with your right shoulder? Okay. Left ear, left ear with your left shoulder. Perfect. Yeah. So this is uh, what we have to do for the neck movements and the patient might have restriction or patient might be able to do it uh, comfortably. Okay, so this is our uh, uh, whiplash examination and as well as brachial plexus examination. This is how we can do. Alright, thank you.